I'm Ms. Artastic and in this video our tutorial we're going to be drawing this super cool coral reef creature. Coral reef creature. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I love it. So grab something to make a mark with and something to color with and let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, we're gonna draw some super cute coral. Yeah. All right, here we go. Grab your mark maker. Let's begin with two curving lines on either side for the body. We're gonna do one, two U shapes in the front for the coral's legs. I know corals, coral from coral reefs don't have legs really, but we're making it, making it a creature. It's like a creature version of a coral reef if it were to be a creature. All right, here we go. We'll add a little leg in the back and we're gonna make it smaller because it's farther away. Now I'm going to connect the body. So I'm gonna connect the body between the legs, imagining that it all lines up. Okay, let's add the rest of the body. So now we wanna get super loose with our hands because coral is like super bumpy and loose and rough. So we wanna add just different spikes and we want all of our coral to be different, right? Yours should not look like mine, and there's no right or wrong way to do this because we're building some coral on the back of this sort of coral reef creature. So we wanna add just a lot of really rough and bumpy pieces coming off of it, as though it is coral growing in an ocean, but as a, well, cute little creature. Now sometimes, I mean, there might probably be spikes and stuff in the back of it, so we'll have some kind of sticking up a little bit in between here, a little farther away. I'm coming off of it. In the back there. And of course, we want to add some texture on it because it's a rough and bumpy little living organism. So we want to Add some loose lines on there, okay? Just maybe even try holding your mark maker up higher. And that way it's harder to control it, right? And then by making it harder to control and being very loose with it, you're gonna get these nice, very organic and loose lines. We're sort of purposely being loose and scribbly. We're not going crazy like this, but we're being just loose. We're making loose lines and marks to create texture. So we're being somewhat intentional and somewhat more loose and not intentional about it. It's like a nice balance. Okay, maybe we have some little sea anemones coming off of it. So I'm gonna draw a few sea anemone shapes. Drawing those little tubes coming off. Or I could put another one right here. Then we'll draw a little frill with a wavy line on each. And then you can draw your sea anemone enemy little arms coming up. So cute. All right, let's give it a face. So we're gonna imagine that this is the face area here, and this is the back, so this is like the side of it. So I'm gonna draw one circle on one side of where I'm putting my face, and one circle on the other. So it's kind of on a three quarter angle. That's what that would be called. In each circle, I'm gonna draw one big circle and one small circle. Mine's looking out that way. And then I'm gonna color in the dark of the eyes, leaving just those circles nice and white. I'm 
below each circle. I'm gonna draw a little narrow oval for some cute little cheeks. I'm gonna draw a little smiley face. I'm gonna draw a tongue sticking up. So cute. I'm gonna add some lines around the eyes. And some little paws with some curving lines. And just like that, it's ready to color. So you can grab your choice of coral color. Go ahead and color it in with your choice of medium. And colors.
And once you're done, your little coral character is done. Well, that's it for this episode. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, Ms. Artastic. And if you create anything and share it online on social media, please, please, I would love to see it. So take me at Ms. Artastic and I will check it out or join the community and conversation and use the hashtag, hashtag Ms. Artastic. And I will check it out that way as well. And you can see what other people are creating who create with Ms. Artastic. YouTube videos. Well, that's it for this episode and I will see you in the next.